Yeah, Shalom, Shalom. Coming to you again in the name of Yahweh, Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, and salutes unto the Akim that um, continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. Yeah, man, Shema back at you again with another, another walk and talk, man. You know, and um, pretty much, you know, I'm flowing the spirit, but, you know, along the lines of. Esau don't like when so-called black people get together, okay, in, con in, 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 a, in a constructive manner, in a constructive um, environment, okay. If y'all are stabbing each other or if all you do is have dance hall parties, you know, and street cookouts, you know, and get together on Christmas and New Year's, and have a good old time, you know, with the food and the drink. If that's all you do, then Esau don't mind you getting together. But when there's something constructive, okay, with a purpose, with an aim, with a goal to inspire, okay, you know, the generation to come, aspire to do something greater, to elevate, to rise up. Productivity, Esau get, gets nervous when Jake tries to do that, man, you know, <clears throat> uh, he gets, he gets nervous, man, you know, and, um, pretty much, you know, <coughs> pretty much, this is why everything that Jake has tried to do, you know, be the Black Wall Street, or, you know, all these other movements, you know, and events in history, all these things that Jake tried to do, you know, that was somewhat constructive, Esau shut it down, man, you know, now the first scripture I want to quote, you know, is in the scriptures where it says, if, uh, if this counsel be of man, it will come to naught, but if it be of the most high, that shall stand, okay, you know, and this is why Esau has not been able, and will not be able, to stop the truth, okay, you know, because the council which we hold is not the council of frustration of man. You know, I'm tired of the situation I'm in, so I'm going to do something about it. Which we are tired, you know, of the situation we're in. But it's not fueled by our own emotions. This is fueled by the will and power of Yahweh Barsham Yahushai. So therefore, this council is not of ourselves, man. This council is of the Lord. All right. Because if this thing was of man, you know what? We found out where the Israelites and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that. Esau would have done shut that down, man. Okay, especially when, you know, our elders, elders, you know, the great men of old, you know, some of them are still here on the earth. Some of them are in the spirit realm. You know, when prophet Elijah came back, you know, and I ain't gonna say, you know, who that is will get into that. But when Prophet Elijah came back, man, you know, and his students and what not to be doing what they were doing, you know, people, we, we, you know, you can still get, you know, killed at that time, man. You know, lynchings and stuff, you know. So, for the time that this whole, for lack of a better term, movement started, in fact, you know what, I'm going to chill here for a bit, man. Where am I about to walk? It's into the city centre and I don't like distractions, man. So I'm going to chill here for a bit, you know, and a little bit of greenery. But to do what we do, basically, you know, from when our elders, elders, you know, you know, Rabbi Abba Bivins and that started and all of that, that stuff there, you know, that shows, man, that, you know, this is the hand of of the Lord, man. You know, it's the hand of Yahweh Hashem Yahshah, okay? It's the council, man, of the Lord. And this is why his council has stood, man. You know? This is why the council of the Lord has stood. Okay? You know? And really, this is why Esau's, especially the elite, are scared, man. Alright? Because they know who we are, man. They know the prophecies. Esau, best believe, Esau's elites, man, they know the prophecies, man. Esau knows the prophecies, okay, no doubt, right, you know, he knows the prophecies, man, you know, 
And um, he knows that the men on the highways and the byways is teaching this word. Okay. Are the, are the prophets of the Lord coming back? And will be, you know, the end, the start of his destruction, man. You know? Okay. And this is why they don't, these Edomites, they don't like to see us on the street, man. Because we're not stabbing each other, we're not fighting each other. We're simply reading a book, the most powerful book, okay, and breaking it down. Reading some more and breaking it down. Reading some more and breaking it down. And Esau's getting cut because the words are for me, how about Shemi You know? Okay. And really, there's powers in the words. The real power is in the spirit. This is why the elect men, whoever they may be upon the earth, are the most dangerous men to Esau, man. Okay. To the, starting with the elites okay you know because guys through the ages have got together and you know they've, they've tried to fight the system and failed but this fight won't fail why because the Lord says you know according to the prophecies um, you know that which I um, it shall come to pass uh, that which I, ple I please no one of these shall fail you know so that's that man you know none of these prophecies none of these prophecies are gonna fail man. you know okay so the elect men they're the, they're the most dangerous men to Esau man to the elect I mean to the to the elite okay because when when you put the elect together you get product man you get substance all right you get you get you get um, results. Case in point, this universe, man. Who the hell do you think created that, man? The heavenly Father gave the blueprint to His Son, and the Son Yahweh Shai led the angels, which is really the elect, in creating this whole universe, man. So when you put the elect together, you get results. You get you get you get product. All right, you see work. You see input, man. So really, the elect men on the earth right now, you know, who, who preach of the downfall of this system, are the ones that created this place, man. Along with Jehovah Shai. And you've got to think like that, man. That helps you, you know, remember who the hell you are, really. You know, that if you or if I be a part of the elect, we took part in creating this world, man. You know? And that's something special, man. You know? Okay. I don't want to go down this road. Let me go down another one. Okay. So with the elect being gathered, man. And the elect may already very well be sealed, man. You know? But with the elect being gathered. Okay. You know? It's just one day closer. One step closer to Esau's fall, man. You know? Okay, because the power is really in the, in the government structure of your Baal Shem Okay, that's the true rulership, man. You know, that's the true rulership, man. <clears throat> so yeah, if the council be of man, it shall come to naught. You know, but if it be of the Most side, that shall stand, man. You know, that's why the scripture says in Ezekiel 3, speak unto them with might, consume this role and speak unto them, go get thee unto the house of Israel, man. And speak with my words unto them, man. We speak according to thus saith Yahweh Hashem Yashai. Right, the words in the book, okay. You know, that's what, that's what we teach from, you know. And not changing it either, you know. Preaching it for the truth. And the correct breakdown within the book, man. Alright? That's why the scripture says, um, for they preach another Yahweh Shai. Because some people, they'll read the book and start preaching and teaching. But, it's not according to the truth of what is meant in the book. You know? So you got to preach and teach according to, uh, according to uh, the truth, man. Which Great Millstone GMS has, man. You know, 
no, that's just facts. Okay. And these Edomites, man, they, you know, the scriptures speak about Jacob and Esau fighting in the womb in Genesis, man. You know. Alright. In fact, give me one second. Let me just tie up my lace because it keeps coming up done. Yeah, man, the scriptures speak of uh, Jacob and Esau, you know, in the womb. Two nations are within thee, and one shall be stronger than the other. Oh, this place, oh, man, this city, man, all they're doing is road works, and he's cutting off paths that I usually go down. It's all right, I'll go around the other way, you know. You know, and they shall strive against one another, man. That's, this is why when you're around these Edomites, you know, it's nothing but confusion, it's nothing but tension, like I was just, you know, you know, up in Birmingham, man, got the train a couple stops down to the next town, and the Edomite woman came and sat next to me, I've got my bag with me, I've got my sports bag with me, man, you know, I've got my stuff in my bag, you know, a couple of stuff, and she sat next to me on the train, and obviously I'm, you know, being pleasant and stuff, like, you know, moving over, because she's trying to squidge in, uh, you know, and this old Edomite keeps pressing up on me and looking at me. Now, I'm not going to say what I wanted to say or wanted to do or was running in my head, you know, but I had to, you know, put on the, the so-called diplomatic, act, you know, voice. You're right there, love you. You got enough space? You okay? You know, but you say it with authority, man. Not like you're some damn pushover. You ask them if they're okay and, you know, you say it with authority and she stopped that shit, man. You know? And then when I when I had to get off the, the train, she had to get up so to move out my way. I said, excuse me, please. All right? And she said, oh, yeah, no problem. And I said, thank you. You see, you can be polite and demand respect, man. All right? You know? And that's the thing with men of the Lord, man. Your presence, when people try, you know, people go and try it with you because it's not really them, man. You see, when people try it with you, it's not them, man. They don't want it, man. Like they got that saying on the street. You don't want this smoke. They don't, you don't want it. When people try it with you, they themselves don't want it, man. You know what wants it? It's the demons, man. You know, okay? It's the demons that want it. And the demons jump on them to, 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 to try and get on you. You know? All right, because there's a saying, a saying that I love, man. Silence is deafening. All right, silence is deafening, man. You can be around somebody that commands respect, man. You know, and they, 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 the demon or the person, you know, gotta, gotta, gotta humble down, man. You know. And the scripture says, talks about a soft answer, turn it for a wrath, man. Okay. Because, you know, you could speak all rude to somebody and then look man you know you're in it you got a case on you and all that shit you know but the spirits are active out here man the spirits are active man you know you know the spirits are active man and i say this all the time when i'm here i don't give a fuck i'm gonna say it again all right right now i've got to do some stuff in a uh, coventry town man and um, this is the, the demonic city, man. I'm actually standing across the road from a police station. One time I was there, not in the police station, but I was walking past it on the other side. And, um, you know, it was like three in the morning. I was late, man. And um, I actually saw apparitions, man. That's the first time I saw, like, um, I saw, uh, what was it, man? Like a, a hologram of of like five Moabite demons man and they weren't real people it was demons manifesting man you know and there's a lot of witches up here you know and people you know doing sorcery and stuff man you know they got a lot of these cathedral buildings and old church like a, a, you can see ahead of you in my last video I did a actual look I showed you a little bit of the cathedral the ruins man but a lot of witches go there I've seen men 2 a.m. in the morning outside that same cathedral in the video I did the other day speaking in a like a ancient European tongue 
you know, sounding like them witcher type of stuff. And he was on the floor crying and bawling and banging his head, man. Bowing down to Caesar Bourget through the glass window into the cathedral, man. You know, so I've seen a couple of stuff, man. But this city of Coventry is demonic. Anyways, man, I'm just really flowing through the spirit, man. You know, and this is why the scriptures say what? You know, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality.